This lesson shows how the split element tool works in Revit architecture from the modified menu. We have two different modes. We have a simple split element, just cuts an element um, at the point you specify into two separate elements, and then we have split with gap. Right? I'm looking at a projection that was generated with a section box, so I can't really see the, the true top of the wall that's divided with a, a, a section. So, But when I select the split element, it's showing me at the base of the wall where the split is going to occur. So the first mode, the simple mode, simply creates a line and you have two walls that are butted together. The advantage of this is that you can separately select one of the walls and it is not joined uh, constrained to the other so you can you can drag it and modify its length and the, the other wall doesn't go with it uh, split element with gap creates a gap between the two elements at the point you, you select but they are constrained together so if I move one the other goes with it. You can remove those constraints by unlocking them in, in, um, by selecting and then clicking unlock for either one of these. So that's how it moves. That's, ho that's how you split an element uh, vertically. Usually you will do this in plan so you can see exactly where that's going on and if I move the mouse over the split element tool it has this little animation that shows you yeah here's how I usually do it in, in plan and then I can do it with precision.